Hello YouTube again. Right now, I'm showing that um, I still have this. I painted uh, one little bit orange so you can tell how many times it goes around when it goes faster. Right now the wind's not that fast right now. It's just constant. But I still had uh, spare aluminum and I was like, huh, I should make something else. So, I made one of those. I was able to put it up higher, so it's been pretty, spins pretty good. Uh, I know it will go, it should be able to go faster than this one because this one has more drag against it because it has such a big uh, wind uh, to go around. It's not more aerodynamic. That's pretty aerodynamic, but I don't know. Um, the wind again, it's not that bad. There's a little flag right there, and it's barely moving. There's a little little string right there. You can see it? It's moving a little bit, and that's moving. And that's moving. I painted a little bit of the orange right there, if you see it. So I can tell how many times it goes around. Oop. So, to get them both of the pictures kind of hard. Can't back up that far. But, you can see which one's moving faster right now. Of course, that is up a lot higher but this one has like a wind tunnel effect from here wind just jets through there but again that one's up there it has less obstacles of the wind but i don't know if i have these on right if i should reverse them it works i don't know if i should have the uh, openings on the outside or the inside you know, so I just built it the way I thought it should be built, but it's still working. I'll zoom in on it. Yeah. It's about 14 feet in the air. Maybe 16. 14 to 16. And again, not that much wind. Sitting there. Little fly barely moving. Little stream. Right there. But, eh, at least they're spinning. I don't have that much um, money, so I just built it with scrap wood and scrap aluminum that I had. And uh, just gotta save now. I'm not gonna be on for a while. If I am, it's because uh, I just want to show how fast one of these are going. And very low speed winds. You can see them both right now. There's the orange on that one, there's the orange on the other one. And that one's already came back around. This one's back around now. But, um, yeah, so, I'm not anywhere where there's high speeds like some of these people have where you hear the wind through their microphone and all that. You know, that one's just sitting up on the old, old one I had. I took out the two buckets and just put that on top of it. Oh, but I'm going to do... I'm gonna build another piece inside here. I was gonna put a uh, Savani vertical axis inside there. So it should be able to start off easier than this one. But it's spinning quite well for where I'm at. It's not spinning as fast as I want. This will try to spin faster, but it has to fight through the wind. So I was, you know, looking at it, I'm like, ah, there should be a lot of torque. But again, 
for it to spin very fast it has to fight itself and this one I'm saying it should be able to spin a heck of a lot faster without having to fight as much yeah when this one starts to pick up speed you'll hear the aluminum bend a little bit because it's trying to fight through the wind and it stopped it's like there's like air brakes on it <laughs> but um, that one shouldn't have to fight very hard I just wish it was a little bit windier here but it's not so You guys look at this again I wish I had magnets now but don't can't afford it <laughs> and this one I was considering on later on to make two of these on top of each other and to have two Savoniuses inside them and put them in here. See, that's dead stop right now. Now it's starting to pick up. But that's how I was thinking. Uh, that might work a little bit better, you know. If I have two of these offset it from each other plus a Savonius inside there and inside the other one see if that spins a little bit faster and can keep on spinning in very low winds as well and then I'll have it geared you know maybe geared maybe ten times or or more to turn a generator that I might make All right, see you later. Oh, and about the uh, the fan. Uh, yeah, to do the fan, that's a pretty good idea. I just need to get um, a good fan. Right now I got one, but I don't know exactly how to put it together. You know, I took it apart. But I uh, just figure out the wiring on there, see if it works. You know, it's a really old fan, so I don't know if it's going to work as well as, a, like, a, a new used one. But then I got, again, I got these alternators as well. So I got to figure out what to do with those. All right. See you guys later. Bye.